Okay, so the next one we got to talk to you about is um, if you're going to make mock scrapes, then we suggest they use the scrape attic. The scrape attic is basically a mixture of glandular scents. It's a little bit of all of them mixed in. And what we're going to do is we're going to show you exactly how we make a mock scrape. When can you make mock scrapes? I start making mock scrapes in the summertime even, all the way through. And honestly, you can make mock scrapes even into the winter time before they drop their antlers. These deer are using these scrapes year round. The communication level is just so far advanced that it, it's unbelievable. We're saying so much more than what urine typically says. So anyhow, this is how we make a mock scrape and I'll just show you how I do it. So one of the things is I selected this tree because there's already some overhanging limbs and things like that. So what I'm gonna do is as you can, what I will do, and I mentioned this before, go in, knock out any competition limbs. Just get rid of them, okay? Now I don't have anything hanging down here. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna make sure that I end up with one vertical limb. Look at that. Now I'm gonna come back here in a second and clean that up. But the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a scrape. And I use this thing for making scrapes or you can just use a knife or a stick, just something to tear up the ground. This works way better. And all I'm looking to do is, I don't know, 18 inches, 24 inches, something like that. One, another little tip, just pour straight water into your scrape. That can help tremendously. Okay, but I've torn up the ground there. Now what I'm gonna do, actually I wanna clean this up a little bit more. I wanna take some of these limbs off of here. Again, I'm just trying to get rid of my competition. I want them to make sure they hit the limb that I want them to hit, primarily because I'm gonna put a camera on this. So then I just take the scrape attic paste and I just slip it over some of the limbs that I broke it off. You don't need a whole lot. You just wanna be able to see a little bit on there. That one's perfect actually right there. Just like so. And then I'll take a little bit of spray. Make sure that you get upwind. You don't wanna be standing downwind. A couple sprays. And you can see right here, like there's one way over here. Get rid of it. Now there's one vertical limb along this tree edge. I'm telling you, we will have deer hitting this scrape in no time, and there was nothing here before. Okay, so scrape attic. That's the one you wanna use when you're making mock scrapes. You can use other things with it. You could use the scrape king or the scrape queen. You could use the buck junkie, but this one's primarily what we made for just for making scrapes, making mock scrapes.